iterative analysis. The previous equations can be solved using a simple iterative procedure which is illustrated in this example. Determine the current ID and the diode voltage VD for the circuit where VDD is 5 volts and R is 1 kilo ohms. Here we assume that the diode has a current of 1 milliamperes and it has a voltage of 0.7 volts. Now to begin the iteration we assume that VD is equal to V1 is equal to 0.7 volts and I1 is 1 milliampere. Okay, it means the values that you are given they are V1 and I1. Okay. Now we will find ID which is diode current. How you are going to find ID? You will use KVL equation which is ID is equal to VDD minus VD divided by R. Here VDD is 5 minus 0 0.7 divided by 1 kilo ohm. So you will get 4.3 milli amperes. Now how you are going to find VD? This can be done by employing the equation that we have derived earlier. This equation is V2 minus V1 is equal to 2.3 and Vt log I2 divided by I1 or V2 is equal to V1 plus 2.3 and Vt log I2 divided by I1. Now here this V2 is Vd. Now we know that the value of n is 1. We know that the value of Vt is 0 0.025. Now here what is I2? This value of id that you have derived it is i2 and you know i1 is 1 milliamperes so after solving this equation and after putting all the values you will get the value of v2 which is what which is 0.736 Okay, so this is the result of first iteration where the value of ID is 4.3 milliamperes and the value of VD is 0.736 volts. Okay. Now, we will start our second iteration. It will proceed in a similar manner. Now, for second iteration, the previously obtained values of V2 and I2, they will become V1 and I1 for second iteration. So, the value of V1 in this iteration will be 0.736 and the value of I1 is 4.3 milliamperes. Okay, now first we will find ID or I2 by using KVL equation. ID is equal to VDD minus VD divided by R. Now in this case, VD is 0 0.736 and we know that R is 1 kilo ohms so we will get 4.264 milliamperes. Now we will find VD or V2 by using formula V2 is equal to V1 plus 2.3 NVT log 
i2 divided by i1 we know what is v1 v1 is 0 0.736 we know what is n n is 1 we know that vt is 0 0.025 we know that i2 is 4.264 and i1 is 4.3 so after solving this, you will get V2 is equal to 0 0.735 volts. Okay, so the results of second iteration are ID is equal to 4.264 milliampere and V D is equal to 0 0.735 volts. Now we will start our third iteration. The third iteration proceeds in a similar way. It means the values of V2 and I2 that are obtained in second iteration they will become v1 and i1 in this third iteration so here v1 is 0 0.735 volts and i1 is 4.264 milli amperes this v1 is also vd so first we will find i2 